from river to rain drop. The Water Cycle by Emma Carlson Burn. Rain taps my umbrella. Where does it come from? Water runs through rivers and streams. The water flows beneath the sky, clouds and sun. The sun shines down on the water. It warms the water's surface. Drops on the water's surface evaporate. Warmth from the sun causes the evaporation. Evaporation is when water turns into a gas. The water drops turn into a gas called water vapor. The evaporated drops float on the wind. The wind carries the water vapor up into the sky. It sails toward the clouds and sun. Soon it is high above earth. The drops become part of a cloud. The water vapor joins with the cloud in the sky. The water vapor cools off when it joins with the cloud. It is much cooler now than it was when it first formed. The drops turn back into a liquid. When it gets cool enough, water vapor turns back into a liquid. The water vapor is now in the same form as it was when it started out as drops from a river. This is called condensation. The drops in the clouds stick to bits of dust. Clouds have tiny bits of dust in them. There is also wind inside a cloud. The wind mixes the dust and water drops together. This creates droplets of rain. The droplets swirl and gather water. The droplets grow bigger and bigger. They also get heavier and heavier. The water they pick up inside the cloud gives them lots of weight. The heavy droplets fall from the cloud. When the droplets are heavy enough, they fall as rain. They make puddles you can splash in. The rain brings water to earth. The rain helps plants grow. It gives animals water to drink. It falls into rivers and streams. Then the water cycle begins again. The end. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.